What's going on everybody? It's a surprise. So today we are doing a really fun Citron deck. We are gonna call this Pumpkin Pumpkin Tron. Uh, it's because we are running the pumpkin shell. So here's how the deck works. It starts off with our regular, very strong early game um, Citron cards, including Forget Me Nuts, Photosynthesizer, Triceratops, and uh, Lima Pluridon. The Photosynthesizer will help protect your cards. It'll help uh, grow your Triceratops by an extra 1-1, one, one, which is really broken, etc., etc. Uh, for the two slot, we are running Rotovega for a couple of reasons. One is because it's going to be a very good card on the Pumpkin Shell, uh, which will turn the Rotovega into a 4-5 that shoots in two lanes. That's 8 attack with 5 health, ridiculous. And also because it's a root and it does benefit a lot from the Star Slur, making it do 6 damage. The Pumpkin Shell is a very interesting card, and I'm always looking for more excuses to use this. You can really... You know, play this in front of anything. This can win a trade uh, when you play this on turn three. Very difficult card to remove on turn three. So even putting it in front of a 3-3, three, three, let's say, okay? So now that 3-3 three, three is now a 3-1. Your pumpkin shell loses three health, but its ability of fusion, when you play any plants on top of this, it will gain two attack and four health, regardless of how much damage the pumpkin shell has taken. We have th uh, th really, really good cards. Three very good cards the next turn to play. One is Blockbuster, which absorbs a card because of its plant evolution. It turns out it's really synergetic with the pumpkin shell, because you don't really lose much from covering the pumpkin shell, since those stats are going to be transferred to the humongous uh, Blockbuster, which will end up being a 5-7 bullseye, which is ridiculous stats. Uh, you also have Starch Lord. Um, which is going to be, oh, I have to credit someone with this deck. So the Starch Lord will be able to, again, have eight health. So if you're, you know, again, it'll die to rocket science. You got to watch out whenever you're buffing anything with two cards. Uh, you got to watch out for that, you know, rocket science hard removal. But other than that, even like Fruitcake will not remove the four, eight Starch Lord. So depending on the matchup, you can really get away with that. And it'll be safe and really hard to remove. And Starch Lord, if it can stay alive, uh, will give you a lot of value from all the cards it's conjuring and the buffs it will be giving to your Root. I did get this idea generally. It was a very different deck from I'm Fishmile, who sent in a deck at the end. Once you're running this, I really want an excuse to run Snakes again with Citron. Snakes, anyway, is a pretty good turn 5 play with Citron uh, because you can play Snakes plus Peel Shield. Not Signal may even protect it, but Root Wall will definitely protect it. Uh, thus giving the Snakes, you know, that protection they need for that one turn, and then it'll be keep on uh, spawning Snakes, and those Snakes will make more Snakes. And really, once you can get your Snakes going, they're very, very hard to deal with. You can you can play it in the pumpkin shell, so that initial snake spawner will actually be a 6-6, six, six, which is very difficult to remove. Again, got to watch out for the big removal. We're also running Starfruit, uh, which you play into pumpkin shell will be a 4-6 that is attacking for 20 damage, uh, besides having 6 health, so that's awesome. Running a few Brainanas as the finisher. Once you have your snakes or your Starch Lord or your Starfruit, uh, or anything, actually, even the just the Rotobagus and the... Triceratops set up. They're gonna want to try to use efficient, you know, removals, and uh, very often Brainana will just finish off the game. Let's see how the deck does. Just running some Spring Beans for some, you know, Temple removal, be able to efficiently take away any key minions that you need on their side of the board while your board expands with your Dinoroars and your Snakes and your Starch Lords and your value. So, yeah, this should be good. <laughs> Uh, we will have time. These games should go pretty fast. We'll have time for 10 games today. If you think we're going to win 8 out of 10 with this deck vote, yes. 7 out of 10 is going to be a no here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Fry them up. Uh, so these are less good cards against Mortician. I'm going to get rid of this 4 for now. This is actually a very good card against Mortician. She doesn't really have good ways of dealing with it 2-4. This is okay. I'm going to get rid of Rotobago. We really would like to see a Forget-Me-Nuts. I don't know. All right, well, I'll keep the, <laughs> the other early game cards, I guess. <laughs> it's trading this into... Honestly, it's a 1 in 4 chance that the opponent has bats. Otherwise, this should get away with it. God damn it. Come on, one time! <laughs> Murphy's freaking law. Thanks, Murphy. Thank you. Here we go. Here's the Forgore Me Nut. We're gonna do that on Heights to get a with that. Let's slow down the Immortitia enough to get it going in here. <sighs> Cry, I fully recovered from my cataract surgery and now I can watch your streams in high quality. 
That's the point of having good eyesight, guys. Fry him up streams, clearly. I don't know. <laughs> should I do this, or should I just wait? I feel like I'm going to be patient. I don't really feel like committing root wall. and That's fine. Maybe just playing that would have been good without the root wall. I don't know. We're just going to go Starch Lord and Starch Lord, and it's going to be great. How's your trip in Mexico so far? Uh, trip is going pretty good. Dang, that's annoying. Oh, boy. This really screws up everything I was trying to do here. The Star Lord and just dies for free, man. I guess I'm gonna just develop some tempo here. I suppose. It's so annoying. The bets is the predict button. You'll see that either on the top or the bottom of your chat. Look for it. Oh, this thing is really screwing us. What am I supposed to do? Whatever shall I do? I really think getting the Starch Lord rolling at this point is a good thing, and I'm gonna do this stupid play. And save the Starch Lord and sacrifice this card. Probably a mistake. This was a really bad conjure from Photo, too. Where's the dragon fruit? Come on. The subs are echoing? Are they? Are the sub subs really echoing really hard? You guys? The text to speech is echoing. Why? Why is this happening? It's not coming in through my mic. It usually doesn't. Here, I turned down the volume of my speaker. Tell me if that helps anything. Uh, Starch Lord lived. Oh, here's this. We got Blockbuster going on. How do we do this play? It's a little bit awkward. I think we're going to do it like this. I want to play this one second so this ones up here and we win the trade as opposed to Rotobega dying for free. Uh, <laughs> I hope this is okay. Triceratops is still lighting it up, so... If that's all he has. Acid rain. Area. Okay. Star Shard and one still wins this trade. Yeah, da 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 and three more bullseye. I'll take it. Here's Pumpkin. We also got the uh, environment for the leaf now. Um, the only way to really play two cards is to do these two. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> this is a little bit weird. <laughs> but why not? Why not blow this and deny, you know, the Mechas or whatever the heck they're playing? I guess that works. It's also a 5 8 on the board. <laughs> Gonna need a lot of rockets. Welcome to the new people coming in for the stream. Heck yeah. Yeah, we do have the blockbuster, so I'll just cover the Roto Vega. He's probably going for like teleport Zombot, and that's a teleportation zombie, and it's turn nine. Probably. We'll see if we can get something to go along. Why do we have two bamboozles? Starch Lord, you're completely useless. Come on, Starch Lord. It's garbage. I guess this works, though. Wait, so it's another 5 7. Zombot that bitch. Now we can't teleport Zombot anymore. We could teleport like. Oh, no, that's not gonna. What are you gonna have, though? What even saves him right now? Nibble Rocket, I guess. <laughs> the man's got a bunch of nibbles. Got a whole bag of nibbles. Ah, oh, he's got one health. Can we get a little card for one of these bamboobles? 
Bambooples. No, we got a four drop. <laughs> Bambooble is useless. Dude, stop playing teleport. Should I just do this? Just to be mean. I think I'm doing it just to be mean. Let's go. I mean, I probably should bamboozle, and then we'll probably get another card to play, but... At least now he can't teleport anything. This is fine. God damn it, Bambooble. <laughs> oh no! Well, they only need to do one damage, so... I think that's okay. Uh, he doesn't have a teleport, he just doesn't have one. He's got a bunch of cards, oh, no. Yes! Freaking easy. All right. <laughs> God damn it, Starch Lord. Starch Lord's so good. Best card in the game. No, it's not. <laughs> Come on, man. That's it. I'm taking out Starch Lord, guys. We'll just run four Blockbusters since they're amazing. Four Snakes and a third uh, Starfruit. It'll probably make this deck better. Bamboozles, man. You're supposed to bamboozle the zombies, not me. That's why I wish these cards that were just this useless, like, just to remove them from the game. Take them out of the game. They're such garbage. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Should we do this? One, two, three? Because it's a pumpkin shell deck. Should I get rid of this one? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, we got that curve. Look at that. I Maybe I should have saved that so we can do the superpower. I should have saved the Rotobango. Whoops. Oh, I am spacing. I gotta concentrate. This needs to be on ground and this needs to be on Heist Player on Laser Base Alpha. I always say it and I, I usually usually follow through, but not this time. We did get the Rotobega. We put something useless here. Maybe I'll just play the Rotobega this turn. Something like Come on, I don't know, Fishy. I don't know what he plays that only has two health. Where do they get so bad? We'll probably just play Triceratops here. No, 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 no. Don't want him conjuring more, so. Triceratops will kill that eventually. Prime up, you're my favorite guitarist. <laughs> Why? I shouldn't have read that comment out loud. What the hell was that? Wasn't deserving. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I think it's going to be like this. But it really can't play any tricks. So this will kill this one. It prevents the uh, teleport, teleport, which is awesome. Oh, we just got an environment. We can actually draw several cards with the... Uh, with the cheese. We want to do it here. Uh, that's fine. We have protection. Always use protection, guys. Blockbuster is alive and well. This will probably be a really good turn for the protect. because we're, It'll probably protect three things now. Saving this for a little later is good. Um... I think environment, I think it's fine. Let's see what we get. Is there anything that would be better? Sending up the pumpkin for next turn is kind of cool. Setting this up too. I think this is going to be the only time we're going to really be able to play the uh, Planet of the Grapes. And uh, hey, if it draws a card, more resources. We'll <laughs> no, he's going face with that. And. And he's using a smoke bomb to prevent me from drawing a card, and then this dies for free. Okay. A little bit of an anti-tempo play. He's, I guess, banking on card advantage? I I forgot that Pumpkin Shell Forget-Me-Nuts is also really good. It makes Forget-Me-Nuts so annoying to remove. I might go for that here, yep. We're doing it. This is such a strong play. And it just messes up. If he's going for, like, Thinking Cap, I don't know what he's going for. I guess it could still rock it. <laughs> but it's so strong to 4 5 forget me nuts. Well, that's fair. Plays environment and nothing else. Okay. To cost teleport, which should have cost zero. And shove something in there. Oh, great. It's blockbuster time, bitches. 
you end up like me. <laughs> Lazarus coming in strong with his 15 children. I, don't know. I think it's 10. I think it's 10 kids. All right. Yeah, I think we got this one in the bag, guys. <laughs> I don't know. We have another blockbuster, too. It just makes this environment work to our advantage. Planet of the Grapes is so hard to even draw one card with, man. But the only reason that got... I think it used to cost two and it got nerfed to three because of Cycle Cap. I think it used to cost two. It's really a two-cost environment. All right, well, <laughs> that was just Guardian being... <laughs> that was just Guardian being nuts, basically. That is how it goes. You guys. <sighs> the donations are too quiet now? I don't really know what's going on. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't really know. Okay. Um, that's good hands. I think one forget me nuts is probably better. Alright, blockbuster against brain freeze. Should be okay. Is this you? <laughs> don't watch the stream, don't look at my hands. <laughs> We have the guy just fighting, just popping in the stream. It says first time chat too, so so yeah. Damn, I gotta do this. Unfortunate. Wow, maybe I should have gone for the for the walnut. Oh, that actually would have been smart. Maybe. I think the walnut was the play there. I kinda think before I before I am, I'm just playing too fast today. That's my problem. I gotta just take a deep breath. Why does this not work? Air conditioning. I need you. So badly. Uh, let's see what happens. Might have acid rain. Blow, it blow. Cat lady. She is a lady and she is a cat. Cat. <laughs> Give me something good. Is that good? No. It's pretty bad. Okay. Uh, it's a thick cat lady. We get to sing the song again, though. I'm just going to spring bean it. It'll be like so anti tempo for him and basically waste the whole. Uh, the whole dude. Maybe I'll just set up snake grass. Maybe your mom. Maybe we can make the snake grass be a four four, and then it lives more often. Let's see what happens here. Spring bean and walnut ain't in bed. Kind of wish this was just a walnut, because then it would be a four four. But it doesn't get buffed in the by the onion rings if it's coming from a trick. Come on, guys. Nah, he's investing even more into it. So, this is the easiest spring bean of my entire career. We really could do this still, though. <laughs> it's so greedy. Nah, too much greed. Oh, he's putting this here so it gets zapped. That's funny. This should have gone the other way around, but whatever. Um, I'm just trying to think where am I? I, think, I'll, I guess I'll put this here. It's a, I want to draw as many cards before I use the onion rings next turn. Let's see who'd spring me. Yeah. 
think it's just onion rings here. Then we can snake grass plus triceratops next turn. Should be pretty damn good. I guess the snake grass is going in one, so we'll onion rings in four maybe. But it dies for free. What's his deal? I wonder what this play is all about. <laughs> He's trying to prevent the damage. It doesn't make sense. He's blocking it. Anyway. So why would he play this here? What do we know? I mean, area does area doesn't even break through. Area's not scary here. Anyway, I guess we're about to find out. What's, what, what is with the positioning? It's very strange. Why not play that in one? I'd still just play that in one and play the area 22 on the cat lady so it can actually break through everything next turn. That would have been the smart move. No, 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 no. We could really go snake grass in one, small lima in two, big lima in five. I think that's going to be the play. The snake grass is pretty good here. This. <laughs> I mean, it goes back into his hand, but he's still taking the damage. I mean, this is really, really rough for this dude. And then we'll get an extra snake. And so much damage. Just the four damage in lanes four and five is just devastating. <sighs> Good evening, y'all. So he's doing seven here, but we're we're basically we're almost lethal damage. Actually, this Rotobega hits. So now either one of these will do it. So either we roll one or we block and he just has no answer. He doesn't there's brain freeze. He used the blow already. Yeah, it's gonna be game. A series of misplays, plus using a pet deck with brain freeze. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I think three is a little too much. I'll take the two, though. Pretty good. Uh, deny the HG super. Hell yeah. I guess this should go here, so the Rotobega has two different places it could be. That makes more sense. But yeah, that's a four damage card on turn two, and he's going to have a really hard time removing it given our hand, so really happy to see our forget-me-nuts denied the high roll. Like, this is... No! Wow! <laughs> so much for denying the high roll. Come on, man. <laughs> HG, I was just going to say, like, this is the way you can really beat HG. You start with a superpower and one. No, no, not at all. Not even close, actually. Bruh. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Guess this goes here. Let's aggro this dude drawing cards and then doing nothing starts lord time babies something tells me I'm not gonna be able to start Lord. it's gonna go after the Galacta I'm gonna have to start committing photosynthesizers and stuff okay if that's all he does I'm going to let you die and get the Starch Lord rolling. I don't care enough about that forget-me-nuts. Okay. Is he running Swabby? Uh, once you click on this, it doesn't tell you, but yeah, he's running it. No way to conjure Swabby. That would be it. Another photo. We got all like four photos. What the hell is this? What the heck is this? Come on, man. I guess I'm gonna just dig some. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> it slows me down so incredibly much. It's so annoying. I'm just going to cycle photos until I can find something good here. It's not great. That's good for next turn. I guess we'll just... I guess we'll just do this. No need to protect. We're still doing a couple damage and getting beanstalks and stuff, so... This was turn 5. We'll actually have the Astrocado plus protect next turn, which is super strong. They also have tough beats. Noise. What is he going for? He's passing. <laughs> I mean, this play is pretty strong. I'm gonna... I don't really feel like Protect is gonna be... Maybe this will be better. I'll probably be teleporting things in. Alright. This kind of plays around teleports. This one play around like... We're playing into... What are those, I guess? But the five bullseye, the five uh, strike through, you know, even teleporting in anything in front of it's not going to really matter. Is he going to have Bad Moon Rising now? Probably is what he's doing. Beam me up, Bad Moon Rising. <laughs> yep. Six coster. Mondo. But again, we still win in three. Too bad his Mondo wasn't in three. That would have been way better. And he had freeze. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Bye, Starch Lord. <laughs> this guy actually just got a chance of winning this game, though. Not a big chance. Rolled a three, so he could block the five damage now. That's nice. Uh, we definitely have to spring beam this. So then we'll go... Two and one, I guess. Maybe just four. I feel like the blockbuster might be useful in here. Let's just pile. Pile it on. <laughs> Give this man a Zombot. What the hell? Do not. Do not. Do not like get on Dying Pharaoh now. What the hell? Uh, It doesn't draw my cards. So that's good. Huh? Huh? More stonks for me. Uh, it's still lethal because because the Triceratops grows once we get the seed in our hand, which actually makes it exactly lethal. If he doesn't roll three, oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, easy. Not even close. <laughs> what the hell was that? Typical huge Giganticus matchup. Damn. I like Mondo, too. I, I wish he was a better card. I wish he was more useful, but... Honestly, it's just one of those cards that if Shamrocket and Cobb Cannon weren't so good, it would just be so much better. Uh, Pumpkin Shell is very, very good into Z-Mech, who has no big removal. It's just Fruitcake, so maybe we'll just play for this. Alright, this is fine. Uh, we're going to try to keep him off the board. I know this would be good with the photo next turn, but hopefully we'll get it too. <laughs> yes! Some top deck madness. So this is... I mean, it's sumo about 100% of the time. There's a chance of newspaper if it's a really weird deck, and there's a very small chance of conga. I'm going to just bank it's a sumo. Listen, if we, it's here and it's a conga or a newspaper, this is so bad. Playing here into sumo, it's not that bad, but there's about a 75% chance of this being sumo, right? Have you guys seen any congas lately? <sighs> okay, another way of playing it. If it's a sumo and we play into sumo, it's still an even trade. If we play into conga, we lose the trade. All right. My gut says it's conga for some reason. I don't know why I'm just trusting my instincts. <laughs> that was that's such a big deal. Oh, we didn't even hit it. Why not? 
Why not make a little dent instead of charging my block meter? Why not make a, a little dent in this Triceratops? I don't get that. Don't make no sense to me. So now we can pumpkin shell, but there's might be a legit play of using, using photo here. All right, let's do it like this. We'll get the trade, the value. Oh, man. And he'll go after Triceratops. You fool. You don't know the Starch Lord strats. See, this is the matchup where 8 health Starch Lord is going to be so freaking busted. He just has fruitcake. That's it. This Starch Lord is going to be alive for the rest of the game. <laughs> Trust me, guys. That's so good. How does he deal 8 damage? I guess he could use Conga and then fruitcake next turn. Oh, maybe. Oh, we still didn't block. Give me some good roots or something. The hell? Yeah, he's definitely going for fruitcake, isn't he? This root isn't bad on the uh, on the Starch Lord. He probably is going for it. I could do this play, which is nice. Honestly, I think we're just I think we're just playing around the the fruitcake here. Actually, I should have just used photosynthesize. Now that plays around for okay. Duh. Uh, whoopsies. Mistakes were made. tries to deal with Triceratops. Let's go. Uh, or Starch Lord. <laughs> exactly. Bungie's that. Ugh. Damn it. I, I also should have not spike weed sector. We would have had the synergy. This is bad. I can't afford the seven damage, so unfortunately we're going for that one. This is gonna grow a lot. I, I think I kind of goofed here, but he probably won't have an environment. I think we're gonna be okay. I could always bounce this. So this is going to, besides, this again, gets one health for each planner zombie. So right now it's going to be at one, five, six with an armor. So it does actually park here pretty well. Uh, I guess we'll obviously play this one first. So it's going to be <laughs> okay now. Nice. Going viral. He's got the overshoot. Jeez, but it's really good we had that forget me nuts. Now the opponent is gone. I mean, they have this environment, but not much of a way to capitalize on it. Oh, uh, no. On the other hand, he has... Well, we got the answer to the environment. It's nice. So... Five, six, seven. Looks good. Again, five. No, no, no. You gotta cover the environment. Again. Six, no. I hope this isn't just like a jester, though. That would be so annoying. It's probably just another conga. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> decided not to go for face. Uh, the reason is because he's being, the, he figures his only way of winning right now is nothing that does three in his deck. He's not running Wrath. He's running Final Mission, though. We already saw one, so he's not proccing the face now. 
This time he wants to proc nothing. Because of final. Oh, this would be nice if we could play it, but we do have this uh, spring bean. In case he really is going for final mission. Gotta play around that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's trolling me. He doesn't have the second one. <laughs> he doesn't have it. <laughs> We know he doesn't have it, right? No, how do we know? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know nothing. Uh, alright. Almost close. 5 and 0. See, Mac, pretty good against Citra. Gotta just stabilize and play defensively. That's what I find. You know, and then you get a big play with your super and you win. We haven't had the good snake game yet. Maybe this is when that changes. I can't afford to keep it. All right. Looks like it's another Starch Lord game. <laughs> yeah, still patch pretty clutch there. Here we go. Let's see what we can draw. Any one or two would be great. Okay. Usually, I like space time in two in this, and then draws a card either way. Getting one dropped would be nice. Wow, that's huge! It's probably teleportation zombie, but this still takes care of it. That's a really great tempo play, man. Hell yeah. Did he have a superpower for sure in his hand? I wasn't paying attention. I never tracked the superpowers. <sighs> Unless I'm playing in a tournament. Uh, doesn't really matter where this goes, right? Block. Guy. If we play it here, it plays around block guy, I guess. Get frozen. Problem is, he passes because of the teleportation zombie, and for all we know, he could have a rocket or something. Should we save this for the star for it? Oh boy. I think I'm gonna go Star Slurred here. I really don't want to get rocketed. Or backyard bounced. Two for one. This also takes care of his card draw. Trapper. Starfruit on Pumpkin coming right up. Yeah. Two dimensional. So much for that idea. Yee freaking ha, babies. Yee how. Ow. It's probably going to be like. Snakes in three protect. Unless we get something amazing here. It's pretty good. <laughs> so tempting. I think I'm gonna do this. Good protect, it hits two things. Makes a snake next turn unless this is a pogo. It just feels like it's Excavator. I don't know why. It just felt like it was going to be Excavator and playing this would just get bounced into our hand. Now he bounces the Star Slur. Okay. Uh, he's doing like 11 damage here. Can we block today? See if we play. 
A Maug. Not a great Maug. Now we got some stocks. Well to go. We got stocks. We got snacks. What more could a Jew ask for? Um, so this this brain now is awkward. Oh, I don't like it. I don't know, man. It makes the snakes die. On the other hand, it's so easy for him to win if we don't. I think we're just gonna... This is so awkward. If he can teleport in things this turn, he's always doing three, so he needs to do six damage. I'm just afraid of all the removal and stuff he could have. All right, screw it. I'm not going for it. Taking the strike through off the board, and all the other lanes are clogged. I'll probably teleport something in three and make a trade there, but... Honestly, him doing that much damage on turn, you know, teleport so he's got five brains, it's not that scary. Wow, he blocked the four. Come on. And that can also give him, like, strike through environment, which kind of hurts. So which power would he not have played? Strike through he would have played. I think guy he would play there. Maybe saving it for one of these environments? And then there's HG Super he would have played. And he used teleportation already. He used, he used Guy already? Oh, I'm so mixed up. It's Guy. I don't really know what to do here, man. He put her in a pumpkin shell. Just because he's holding a trillion teleports, it makes it so hard to use the the brainan and starfruit and stuff. This curve is also weird. I guess it's three and four is the play, right? It's so awkward. Of course it's excavating. Dancing. So he's doing six. <laughs> this game's frustrating. The teleportation station, so hard to deal with. We didn't get an answer to all these gravestones. Three just wins here. I'm just trying to think what our chance of winning is, though. He's playing just one gravestone, so it's probably Brainana. Maybe this should have gone here. A bounce just wins, though, but maybe it's not a bounce. Hey, Fry, love your content. Maybe Welcome it's... I don't know. Dominate in PvP. Hope to see you do a he got another... He got, like, a third one from Frosty. Less than three. But if he goes here... In fact, we're actually okay. He has zero-cost smoke bomb. Like, without the smoke bomb, we actually would have won, because bouncing this... Would only do two, and he wouldn't have been able to win here. We would have won, but he had zero cost smoke bomb from Hugh Giganticus. It's so weird when Brainana just doesn't get it done. It's such a fail, guys. Come on, man. Sorry, I was concentrating. Comrade Panda, thank you so much. Subbing for two months. Thank you for your calling duets. Damn! We actually should have had that game! It's so unlucky! <laughs> Bruh! 
I don't know. Just looking for Tricarat Tabs, I guess. Uh, against Hardy, you don't want to play Forget Me Not Someone. You want to wait till 3 and you can wipe away a whole going viral or weed spray. <laughs> the huge giganticus matches today, man. Come on. That's crazy. Na 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 Think about what you're saying, guys. We had guaranteed lethal 99% of the time against Excavator. What are the chances of zero cost smoke bomb? Think about it, guys. Think about it. The woulda, coulda, shoulda game. Kicking in. This guy's running Bucket Boy. That's what's up. La 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 la. Blair. Blair. Uh, Sima? He's running a professional deck. Let's go. Wow, that's so annoying. Damn, I can't even protect this anymore. Did he conjure this? No, that's just crazy. I do not have any. This is such a good card against Citron. I don't have anything that deals with that. I'll have to put three damage. Oh my gosh, it's going to be alive for like the rest of the game. Okay, well, <laughs> Mog, Spring Bean, doesn't matter. I got nothing. Nothing. I got Star Slur. That's what I got. It's what I have. No, 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 no. Why do you call Conehead Bucket Boy? It's just an old meme. Um, there was a map in one of the Crash Bandicoot games called Bucket Bay, which became a meme, and then everyone started calling Cone Zone Bucket Bay. Uh, so what naturally you know, evolved from that was... Oh, I'm so happy he didn't heal this. I'd rather him heal his face. What naturally evolved from that was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> with uh, the cones out being bucket boy alright we're taking all this heat hopefully we can stabilize here we have 10 health in our hands na 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 I wanna mog something I'll probably just play like smashing guard and we'll mog it we'll get back into this game we'll be fine he smashes Lima instead of Star Slurn. Okay. Oh, that's definitely a mistake. This is drawing me cards. Come on, man. Wow, we got a six. Well, that's great. What the heck am I supposed to do with that? I don't... <laughs> Look at this dumb hand. This hand sucks. What the hell is happening here? Oh my god. Am I am I bouncing this one? <laughs> I don't know. What is the play here, guys? <laughs> Do I just block three damage with this? It's so stupid. <laughs> Bad play. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Do I just take this down? I can't take the damage. Should I mog something? I don't think I mocked something. Yeah, Buckethead <laughs> should be Bucket Boy, but since it was Cone Zone, so then it was Bucket Bay, so then Cone Zombie was. I don't know. <laughs> Memes don't always make sense, guys. 
So now what? Uh, I guess we'll do that. It's a 10 10. Could you not like remove lane one and kill me here? A wheat spray would be pretty good, actually. Actually. Yeah, the curve too high. We gotta just survive two more turns. Um, and then do the heals, and then we can stabilize that way. Uh, going viral. I don't know. No, I wanted to die. <laughs> God damn it. See, I should have put done the protect play, the forget me nuts. The one that died should have gone here, so I could have played the 10 7 here. Oh well. It's fine. <laughs> Could you just play a big spring beanable card, please? <laughs> For the love of God. Two, three. I don't know. Dude, did you really? Did you really just? Um. Okay, well, there's nothing to mog, so I guess we're mogging this. And we're playing this here. And we're playing this here. And we'll play the eight the eight here, I guess. <sighs> guess that's what's up. <laughs> I can't deal with freaking fossil head. It's so annoying. <laughs> uh we're still five and one, right? I think we're still we're still okay for the bets, guys. Don't worry. I'm a slithery snake. So now we'll have 13 health. This will hopefully die. More pets? He's running this? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! It's still not dead! Alright, guys. There's no point in healing. Oh, there is, though. He could win! Oh, I kind of want to set this up. Yeah, we really have to do this, don't we? Okay. Na 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 na. <laughs> Actually, we block usually, and then we'll usually get something to protect that. Okay, that works. Was that worth it? Maybe that wasn't worth it though, because. We could have done that next turn and gotten a lot more value from it. Yeah, that was stupid. That was definitely dumb. Alright, now it is the age. The age of spring bean is nigh. It's gonna be triple spring bean. Watch. <laughs> stupid. A wee! A wee! I really wish I could play the snakes. Oh no, I should, whoops! I should have spring bean, we could have won the game. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, I don't want to give it to him because he can do it. Who cares? Who cares? No. I'm, I need to kind of. I'm really playing with a lobotomy today. Okay, here we go. But it's offensive to people who have lobotomies. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going insane. Deck's doing good. Deck's carrying me, man. I ain't carrying this deck. This deck carrying me. Starch Lord. And Starfruit. And Pumpkin. <laughs> These games are so tedious, man. Alright, guys. Two more wins. Let's go. Oh, that game wasn't even close. This is an awesome starting hand. I'll take as many little one drops. We're going to ping this guy to to dead. <laughs> look at his and look at mine. Way better. <sighs> oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Chat's being ridiculous. Guys, have the donations still been doubling? Or is that guy just trolling me? Honestly, we don't need the. I'm just playing this. We'll just set up enough. This is a good trade for us. There's no need to protect this and it being a 2-1. Who cares? 
He probably is running Toxic Waste in, which is why he did that, so. Just let it happen. We'll kill it next turn. We can protect this one for one turn against Toxic Waste Imp. Bruh! Uncool! <laughs> God damn it. Maybe the second one's an expensive imp, you know? Maybe your mom. Alright. Just playing both of these first. La -dee -da. He gets a second deadly imp, so it's still pretty good. But... <sighs> Why is everyone saying seven and two? We're doing ten games today, guy. I made it ten games, right? Guys, we got ten games today. Where <laughs> people would accept <laughs> I guess if it was an eight game, six and two, yeah. Well no. We would have won if I don't know what you guys are on about, mites. Did he really? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Bruh. It really prevents me from playing the snake. It's like a 50-50. There are one health imps, one attack imps that could go here as well. This is so risky, but I guess I'm going to go for it. It's very high reward and medium risk. It's a 50-50 of it landing in the right lane, for starters. Then, at that point... No! Now it's 100%! Dude! Now if it lands in lane 3, I still live and I get a free snake! That was not a good play, bro! That was such a bad play! You don't have to because it's synergy! You don't have to do it! <laughs> I mean, he missed anyway, but... Still, man. Bruh. Kyle. Honestly, I think it's just Starfer and <laughs> screw this guy. <laughs> what do you got, a pogo? Didn't think so. Uh, uh, pr protect Starfruit, because why not? Starfruit OP, that's why. Hell yeah. <laughs> now my Starfruit doesn't die, and his life dies, and I get an extra snake. That's so good. Look how much the snake is popping off. That way, it, it killed four minions and then proc the block. Starfruit, that's all you had to say. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the huge surfer. Get against huge Giganticus. How does he? He does can't deal two damage. Can't deal crap. Wow, uh, this this blockbuster might actually be the thing here. He probably will play here, so I think it's gonna be forget me nots. Blockbuster. Protect lane one. One more gravestone. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? Why would he play it's a pogo? It must be a pogo. <laughs> So much for that. <laughs> it's got to be a pogo, right? Why else would he start spamming these into Star... Oh, whoops. Oh, that wasn't smart. I should have gone here. Because it's deadly. But still. Um, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> seven, seven and one, guys. <laughs> I don't know.
Anyway. Uh, yeah. We're seven and one now. It's brain freeze. This ain't a bad card against brain freeze, but it's kind of OP. All right. We'll probably tap like some more ones and twos in the next couple of draws here. You guys know how it works. There's really nothing he can do proactive on one, so we'll just play this and play this one too. It'll be good against the extinction event or whatever. That's so fine. I'm so happy. See, if we played this, then he would have held that for a better card. Now, you day it. One to the two to the three to the four. Uh, he has Acid Rain, so we'll play this on Heights. I mean, not now, but eventually. So we'll set up Pumpkin in two, and if we get a good Blockbuster, we can go that way. If not, you know, if he plays a Gravestone, maybe we have to play on Pogo. Uh, if not, we will do the Snakes, if he commits. And we'll have the Snake Train going. Definitely, yeah. He'll probably just like Extinction Event or something here. Same thing. Did he top deck that? Why did he not play that last turn? So I am so confused. Uh, let's see. A Gravestone in four would suck, but anything else means we'll have an amazing play here. Come on, man. Well, actually, we could still do that. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Amphibious Blockbuster, guys. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm not playing. He saw this. So he pulls the pogo, obviously. Can we see a not Gravestone play now? Wow. I mean, we could play around. Backyard bounce would be so harsh. We could also just go for the Triceratops play, man. I kind of like this play, but you think he has a back? Why is he passing on turn five? Let's think about that, guys. He consciously passes on turn five. So he either has nothing, like just zip. Like, what could he have? What could the play possibly be? I'm going to play around back here. Bounce. Screw it. In fact, I don't even think I'm committing super yet. It's just a 2-2 two -two buff. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I'll do this next turn. There's no need. He, he has a back air bounce in his hand. There's no other excuse to pass on turn five with a pumpkin shell on the field. Okay, mind games, guys. We have to run pumpkin shell in the deck just to make them play for the two for one, and then you just spread other cards, double triceratops. Like, what is he going to do? What does Brain Freeze do on five with, with, with nothing on the board? Watch him back our bounce when he's Triceratops now. Watch this. <laughs> he's like, Durr! Durr! <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, I guess it's eight and one. <laughs> the man took a nap. Bye bye. I don't know. There was no Alien News play there. There was no. We had nothing to die to Alien News, and Funded Razor is a braining card, not a beastly card. There, the, the plays could be like Laser Base Alpha Area 22, but he doesn't have anything on the board. Anyway. That's all I'm trying to say, guys. All right. The answer is yes already. Uh, the Snake is better against Rustbolt than Starch Lord. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this so we don't get weed sprayed that hard. I kind of like the snake in a Rust Bowl, though. If you don't have a rocket. Anyway. Well... La 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 la. I'll do this on three. Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. A year ago. 
Congratulations. You guys know, if you know, you know. This looks like we're coming up. Uh, there's no point in really photoing this. Or is there? I guess it plays around Beam Me Up. <laughs> we can heal with Roto Vega. I guess we test for Rocket. If he Rolling Stone twice already, the Starch Lord might be the better play. Like, chance of him having a Rocket right now is probably higher than third Rolling Stone. On the other hand, if this can live here, it's really, really good. I'm gonna go Starch Lord. Just because of the probably presence of Rockets in his hand and lack of Rolling Stone. So. Starts are being developed and getting away with it, it's good. Because now we get roots, we get synergy, we get all kinds of stuff. And he has to deal with this still. Just another card he's got to deal with. It's a very strong play. See, now he's committing hard. Like, this can't be a one drop. Oh, is, why is this? It's not a sumo. What is this going to be? I think the snake play is the way right now. Because he can't rock it. <laughs> okay. Um, where did this come from? From triplication. And he's running arm wrestler. Well, I mean, these snakes are ridiculous. He can't, like, field clear them. <laughs> okay. I guess that play makes sense now. But now we are just going to roll this guy. We're taking our first three damage. We've got healing. We have Brainana. This is ridiculous. Legit ridic. The Brainana is so good because it makes him that he can't even kill these snakes now. But he spent three anyway. Drum major. Uh, so what do we do? Four one one doesn't look too bad actually. <laughs> Is that the play? Four one one. One. Two. Is developing this environment even smart? I think it's like this. It's yelling for three also. It's pretty damn good. All right. We take those. Uh, and the snakes continue. It's a lot of snakes. It's a lot of snakes. Snakes, 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 snakes. If we place a gravestone, we can bust it or freeze it. Well, you know, it's a lot of snake, 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 snake. Just a lot of. Uh, probably won't heal. We'll see how the block meter behaves. I think we got this one in the bag, though. He goes. Unfortunately, we don't get more snakes. Slither a little snack, but that thing's taken care of. The amphibious threat is neutralized. I'd love to be able to utilize all this grave removal we have. I can't play anything here. I, I guess I'm just going to spam my fireweed here. Just so this dies. That's the only thing I could even trade with this. And this goes... I mean, maybe developing Triceratops is smarter. It probably is. Does he have some kind of buff for this imp that he got from triplication? Oh, he does. He do. Damn, that hurts. 
I really am missing all of my removal. Uh, oh, jeez. Ow? So he's doing six. Um, we'll just hold that. It's a it's a big buff, and we can always play it next turn. So it kind of gives us more value just to hold it in our hands. Since it's a cheap, another cheap buff. And the healing is actually really good, since he's kind of wrecking us here. Uh, our wrestler dies, as long as we don't play into it. We really just don't have the removal, though, man. I'd love to get a spring bean. Let's look for one. See, now we have the, 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 the blockbuster play, but it's just not available. Oh, yeah, we do. We have it like this. Uh, might as well dig for a card, I guess. That's cool. <laughs> Should I do that next turn or what? <laughs> it feels good better doing it here, right? But this will go up to 7 attack. I feel like utilizing the blockbuster here is probably the way. And uh, we'll, we'll just... It's fine. So we can take the 6 because we're healing for 9. More triplication! That's how you win at PvZ Heroes, guys. Draw red, spend four, four brains. A huge turn just drawing random garbage. I know it gave him the only thing that's actually making him be competitive, but still. An amazing ring, 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 ring. I think it's still blockbuster season, guys. <laughs> Keep it going! <laughs> Sorry, bro. That was harsh. Damn, we got surprise guard. <laughs> Best case scenario. Alright, guys. This is a really, really fun deck. <laughs> the pumpkin shells open up so much really wacky stuff. I like using snakes. We always used to run snakes in amphibious decks. Um, but snakes with citron anyway is good, and then when you have another way to utilize it with the pumpkin shell, man, it's good enough excuse for me. Okay, I'll do that now. You kept on reminding me, and thank you. I, there's something with the tier list, and they're not in the playlist or something, so I'll fix that. Alright, guys, that was the uh, pumpkin tron. Uh, definitely going on YouTube. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, this is Fry.